This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. There is some promising medical news tonight. Scientists have identified a gene which is the real culprit in an illness that has mystified them for 50 years. It's called Lou Gehrig's disease. It's the disease that killed the famed New York Yankee star in 1941. Bill Bridenfield was also strong and healthy. Bill's sister, Pamela, played an important role in the discovery of the gene. My father's uh, father, and he had seven brothers and sisters, and five of them died of ALS. Pamela tracked down family members and got them to provide blood samples. It's like uh, David and Goliath. We haven't slain Goliath, uh, but we certainly feel like a David who has been introduced to the slingshot. The researchers have discovered that the defective gene damages an enzyme that acts like a sponge, cleaning up naturally occurring poisons in the body called free radicals. Our hope would be that by knowing, knowing something about that process, we can then uh, uh, try uh, drugs which might treat that process in one way or another. ALS destroys the nerves that control the muscles, but not the nerves of the brain. Exactly. Stephen Hawking, the English astrophysicist, has published new theories on the origin of the universe, even though he is paralyzed by ALS. In Health Watch, it's called ALS, a sometimes hereditary disease that robs its victims of control over their muscle. Pamela Bridenfield's 35-year-old brother Bill is dying of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. It also killed their father, grandfather, and one in every three ancestors that appear on their family tree. It's a genetic time bomb that's forced Pamela and her other brother Charles to rethink their future. I've decided not to have any family because of it. And there's been other fam family members that have felt the same way about it. But now, due to research done by Northwestern Medical School neurologist Dr. Tipu Sadiq, Pamela and Charles can trace their family disease to an enzyme produced by a single human gene. This is uh, the first time in uh, degenerative disorders we have found the cause and identified what may lead to a treatment uh, and know what the, what the enzyme does. Uh, it's going to change the practice of neurology. But for the first time, it gives people at risk for familial ALS some hope for a cure. It's just become very important to our family that, that something is done. Floyd, the work's going to be published tomorrow in the journal Nature, and it could also have implications for Parkinson's disease, other kinds of ALS, and even post-polio syndromes, neuromuscular disease. Studying the family of this brother and sister led researchers to the gene that causes so-called familial or inherited ALS, which accounts for only 10% of the 5,000 new cases of ALS diagnosed each year. At least 25 members of Pam and Charles Bridenfield's family have died of Lou Gehrig's disease.